I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Liturgical Things. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us filling the ears of youth with the saving power of the gospel. And we all need this gospel in these dark times. Well, times have changed. Everything, the pendulum swings back. Um, our generation, this generation, young people, there's a renewal of liturgical things, a, a, a desire to reach back into the past and 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 do and learn things that may not have been done in a while or things that have been doing, have, have been done for a long time in the church that we're picking up or you're picking up to do anew. These things are great because they, if there's a meaning behind them, we can learn a lot from them. A friend of mine said that um, when he was making the sign of the cross, uh, no one would make the sign of the cross with him in his church. And now he looks around and folks are making the sign of the cross all the time. And another, I got an email from one of our, our, our regular watch, uh, our YouTubers who says, you know, pastor, I, I I've learned to appreciate my faith more from your, um, from your, your short studies. Uh, I've even started to cross myself to remember my baptism. So as we all sort of make moves toward liturgical things, and I think that that is the way that the Christian church as a whole is going, um, I, I want to just sort of simply put this out to you. Um, and this is a sort of um, why we do what we do and what to think of what we do when we're doing it. So the things that we do in the church are to engage the senses, all of them. To, to engage our eyes, our ears, our nose, our taste, our, our touch, to remind us that God is a God that saves all of us. And every liturgical thing that we do, from the making of the sign of the cross to, to, to maybe the colors in, in, in Advent, to um, lighting candles in the Advent season, or, or maybe some have, have sort of seen a renewal in, in the use of prayer beads, all of these, you simply need to ask yourself, what is being confessed? Because simply because something has been always done in the church or has been done in the past doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. The best things, the best litur liturgical things, the best rubrics, the best uh, small things that we do, like making the sign of the cross, teach Jesus. They teach us something. They remind us of something in our faith. Something important, the sign of the cross, reminds us that we're baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It reminds us that we've got, had his name put on us. It, it reminds us whose we are. The candles in Advent, they remind us that Jesus is the light of the world and that he is coming soon. And we are counting until he comes. All of these things, these gifts are good in the sense that they, when they remind us of something in, uh, in the scriptures or remind us of a scriptural truth, incense. Um, they were, incenses in the scriptures is remin reminiscent of the prayers of the saints, the Old Testament temple and revelation and the coming of the Lord. All right. Now, do you have to do these things? Are you more Lutheran? Are you higher if you do these things um, to get to the point in which you become snootier if you've got them all? Um, no, no, the gift is in the individual and corporate reminder of what Jesus did for us. If you're doing something just to be doing something, that's not very helpful. But if the thing that you're taking on, the liturgical rite that you're practicing, reminds you of the suffering and death of Jesus, well, that is a good thing between you and God, and a good thing also if it helps and builds up your neighbor. See, there's the key. We want to be doing the things that we're doing in the church, not because they've always been done, not because they're old. Those are good things, but they're not the clincher. The clincher is, the most important thing is, 
is if it reminds us and points us and drags us or and others to what Jesus did for us. And that is the best way that these things, these small little liturgical things are gifts that prepare us for the coming of the Lord. And so the freedom to do something or not do something, the freedom from being more Lutheran or more Christian if you do something or don't do something, all of that is part of it. And the best part is that it delivers the things, the small things, the little things, the liturgical things that we may do or not do bring us closer to Jesus and remind our neighbor of what Jesus did for us. Think about this. Think about it, because this is a tough life. It's about a diaphora, the freedom to do or, or not do something that is not uh, commanded or required in the scripture. But it, it's also love that builds others up and also Christ. And that's the most important thing. We preach Christ and him crucified. And that's what's most important about all the things that we're doing. Or the little things, the liturgical things, is that they deliver Jesus for us and for others. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Daring you to be Lutheran in all the liturgical things, whether you do them or not. And that, and this has been another another Higher Things video short. <laughs>